is I see a lot of people, you know, they're chopping wood and sawing wood and they have the, the basic knowledge of, yeah, you gotta, you gotta saw it, right? But there, there are rules that will make things easier. So you do want the side that's gonna fall off elevated. So that's usually braced on something. And this is just a, another fallen tree here. And I'm using that as my fulcrum point. Once this is cut, that's the pivot point in which the two sides will fall apart. You wanna make your cut past the fulcrum on the side that's falling off. If you make it on the other side, as you cut, the wood will actually pinch in itself and it'll bind up your blade. The gravity, once you start cutting through it, will start taking the log with it, opening up that gap as you saw and falling off and you're good to go. Now, when you're cutting, you need to brace one side to stabilize it. Otherwise, the whole log is gonna be moving with you. Just throw a foot, your left foot on this side if you're right-handed. As I saw through this, you can see my cut is just past that pivot point, past that brace log. Gravity is gonna take over and opening up this saw gap so I, it'll allow me to, to cut clean through. Just like that.